Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation you for in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally actually back in Europe with the nation of Scilly. Scilly is a nation located in the HRE, right on the borders of the HRE, and we're in a super, super tough position right at the start here in 1444, being sandwiched between Austria and Croatia, which is a junior part of Hungary and it'll probably get integrated by Hungary at some point and what's even worse we can find ourselves trapped inside of Austria if they get the PU over Hungary. So Silly over here definitely has one of the hardest starts in Europe. We start off as a Catholic nation this 333 guy over here and our national ideas are actually super super nice focusing very heavily on diplomatic play. We got Diplo Rep, Diplo Tech discount, Diplo Annex discount, Diplomats and some other nice ideas too like bonus as the generals and idea discounts. But what do we do as Silly? Well, Silly has a very famous achievement over here in EU4, which is called Don't Be Silly, which requires us to form another nation by starting as the nation of Silly. Now, I already have that achievement. It's actually pretty easy to do, but why not spice it up for this playthrough? Look at Silly's flag. It has stars and stripes. What other nation has stars and stripes? That's right, Malaysia and Liberia. Just kidding, it's the USA. So that's why for this challenge as Silly to Today, we're gonna have to break free from these guys, get some coastal provinces, get exploration and expansion, colonize provinces in the US, and form the United States as silly. Overall, I think it's a super, super cursed idea, and hopefully, I can keep my sanity. Just like you can keep your hair, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Keeps. Listen. Two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they're 35. And Keeps is an online subscription service that has clinically proven and research-backed treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair growth. With Keeps, you'll get quality and expert care without ever needing to go to the doctor's office or a pharmacy. And all Keeps treatment plans are doctor-recommended and delivered right to your door. All of this at half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality. Each treatment plan comes with a full year of unlimited limited messaging so you can connect with your prescribing doctor about anything at any time. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of your hair, Keeps has you covered. Hair loss stops with Keeps. Click the link in the description or go to keeps.com slash redhawk to get 50% off on your first order today. Thank you to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump in a silly. All right, all right, here we are as silly. Like I said, our situation at the start is uh, super, super difficult. But one thing we have going for us is our diplomatic stuff. And I've seen AI silly ally Poland so many times. So if the AI can do it, why can't we, man? Why can't we? So let me start off by building up my army and doing some estate stuff. All right, all right, estate stuff done. Most importantly, religious diplomats. So hopefully uh, Catholic nations will like us even more. And please, God, let me have a diplomatic. And oh, yes. Yes, Diplo Rep guy. Boom, there we go, man. Plus four Diplo Rep right at the start. Feels so, so good. Now let's check out any possible alliances here. There we go. That opened up a bunch of opportunities for us. But really, the guys I want to ally are Austria and Poland, man. Oh my god. Please let me ally Poland. Please, please. There we go. We can Royal Mary them already. And I'm going to Royal Mary Austria too, in fact. Boom, there we go. Uh, We could even try and go for the Burgundian inheritance. So... Our first limit should be six here. There we go. It is. So uh, bye bye horse. We haven't done that in a while. And let's get three more infantry regiments right here. And actually, hmm, I won't get a general just yet. So yeah, that's our sitch right now, man. What are we doing here? Collecting in Venice. Uh, maybe we can uh, collect in Ragusa too for now. And can I get any more advisors? Let's see here. We are sort of kind of making money. If I lower army maintenance, we are. But I feel like the Diplo Rep guy is enough for now. So yeah, man. Really, our plan over here is going to be expand into Hungary and Croatia with the help of Poland and possibly Austria. If these two guys ally each other, I think we're gonna be in a, quite a bit of trouble here, boys. All right, there we go, a month has passed. We can ally Poland, awesome. I don't know if we'll be able to get Austria, but we already occupy a slot from the royal marriage so we might be able to here we might but yeah now it's just chilling and uh gathering favors with poland until we can head on hung ah well that's not something i wanted to happen poland got moldavia too just now that's awesome kind of sucks we don't have unique missions but i guess it is what it is well that's a super early new champion of the joust. Uh, I don't know what the trigger conditions for this event are, man. It's probably not army tradition since it's super low. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he's probably going to suck. I don't know if this is going to be worth it, but let's see. Oh, 
Yeah, baby. Right, well, you know, when the game gives you a wonderful event like uh, a new champion of the Joust, of course, Poland has to take the local noble, man. They took the local noble. All right, two things we don't have going for us. <laughs> Austria and Hungary are allied, and Poland doesn't have Lithuania. Uh, this is gonna be harder than I thought. And there we go, I've improved relations with Austria to about 170, and we can ally them. How is this gonna be useful? I don't know, but I think I did it last time, so let's do it again. Now, I'm gonna let this guy come back, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and ally a bunch of electors. It's pretty easy for Silly to become the HRE Emperor, so uh, let's see here which one of the electors wants to ally us. All right, we got Saxony, Mainz. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Köln too. Awesome. So let's go for Saxony right here. I'm going to go for Mainz as well. And Köln right there too. So there we go. We've allied three electors. Let me see if I can get Trier and the Palatinate. And I actually can get Trier. So that's awesome. There we go. We've allied four electors. Now, uh, maybe some of these guys will start voting for us. I don't know if we need to be like more powerful or something. I don't think they uh, take that into account. But yeah, it's back to currying favors with Poland. And uh, maybe we can can get Austria to not defend Hungary here at some point. Oh, I know exactly when that'll happen. When Burgundy declares a Liège. Of course, the classic Burgundy-Liège war is finally gonna be to my advantage. Trustworthy allies, even more diplorep. I'll take it. Silly really is the diplomacy god over here in U4, man. Is someone voting for us already? No, but Saxony and Trier are pretty close. So yeah, man, if I want to declare on Croatia over here, which is uh, Hungary's junior partner, Poland would already help out. But I need Austria to not help. That's the thing. Now, these guys do have Ladislas Posthumus here as an heir. He is a still heir of Austria. Uh, I think I only have about four years to do this, which might not happen, boys. <laughs> well, my ruler just died. Lost some stab. Classic. Can't boost up. And, oh, personal union on monarch death? No, no. It's fine. It's fine. Just got imperial ambition, which means two guys are voting for me. Yep, that's Trier and Saxony right there. That gives me another diplomat, which gives me the ability to do some other diplomat stuff. Well, um, Ladislas just died? <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. This campaign has been a roller coaster so far, man. From getting good events to horrible events, back to good events. And at least with this, we know that Hungary won't become a junior partner under Austria. Unless, of course, Austria gets Bohemia and then they get the CB. But, uh, if we click on this right here, yeah, they- Oh, they do. They do have the CB on them, so Austria might declare on Hungary here. So yeah, we're still not super safe, boys, but at least it won't happen in four years. I know it that he died because I looked at this and no one's voting for Austria. <laughs> and Austria seems to have broken their alliance with Hungary. They have a truce until 57, which means now is my time to strike, man. There we go. Me and Poland, unfortunately without Lithuania, but versus Hungary, Wallachia, and Croatia. Can we do it? Uh, I don't know, man. It's gonna be super tough for me to get out from here because of the fort and Zagreb, but uh, maybe if we ask for mill access through Austria and then Bohemia? We could run away to Poland and come in from the north. So yeah, I think that is what I am going to do. There it is. Uh, well, now I don't care for it because Austria and Hungary don't like each other either way. Uh, of course, I'm going to have to accept here, but it's fine. All right, so let's declare on Croatia here, man. Boom, there we go. The reconquest of Varazden. Let's call in Poland and I can walk through these guys already without even have to ask for military access because of this war right here. So let's do that, and uh, I'm gonna get to up here, and then uh, join up with Poland. So yeah, let's get the defensive edict going in our capital as well, and let's get a mill guy. Morale, not bad, and I'm gonna fire this Diplorep guy. I may even try and go for the gold mine and haunt here. We'll see, though. I can call in Saxony, so I will do that. Nice, favors. And while we're in this war, ladies and gentlemen, we can get our tier 2 government reform, which is, of course, gonna be strength and noble privileges. Ah... Ooh, I love that. I love that. Well, Burgundy is awfully close to me, so, uh, ooh, how are we losing this war, dude? Austria, Jesus Christ, man. Another weird, uh, scripted PU choice over here by Castile, because, uh, they chose to marry a local noble instead. Oh my god, dude, what's up with all the non-PUs this campaign, man? So many wars are going on, dude. Look at me, man. I'm in these two wars over here. The Ottomans are fighting someone. Venice is fighting someone. It's super, super crazy, man. Lots of wars going on in Europe at this point. Oh my god, dude. This got unoccupied by Hungary and now Poland occupied it. I was gonna take like these three to get Han, but now I'm gonna have to do something like this and I don't really want to take Pest. Newborn daughter? But then I can't become the HRE Emperor, right? I mean, she is a 352. I'll take that. 
All right, we've pretty much beaten up hunger here, man. Let's take a look at my war participation. Ah, Poland's is pretty high. So, uh, yeah, I was gonna take uh, stuff like this to get hot, but we can't because of this province. So let's go with something like this, maybe. Actually, no, we can do it like this. That's less provinces. So that's only 30 AE, not bad, even if I take pest. And uh, what I really want to share is the province of Rijeka. It produces cloth, center of trade. And can I take this too? Okay, not bad at all, man. 46 AE, no one's mad. Uh, where else are we going to expand? Should I take Zagreb too? It is a very good province. Yeah, you know what? I'll take Zagreb too, man. I'll take Zagreb too. Let's get war reps and uh, some money, I guess. Boom. There we go. First war done. Awesome. We're ugly and huge now. But we also got to assume that Austria will enforce their pew over Hungary, so we won't be able to fight them again. But yeah, we can definitely get into Bosnia and Serbia over here. Maybe we can even get a second gold mine. All that gold is going to fund our provinces. I am at negative 83 diplo points. But listen, I literally couldn't care less. And there it is. Just as I predicted, Austria will get their pew over Hungary. So uh, good thing we did this. I'm actually going to start focusing on dip even now. Oh, well, Poland is calling me in to help versus who? Ah, oh, it's the Danzig event. I won't really need to help here, but this does complicate things a little bit because I wanted to declare on Bosnia here and Poland would have helped me. Oh no, what is this now? They're allied to Venice, dude? Oh, actually, I am going to go help because I do want this war to be over quicker. Okay, now what? What's this? In multiple conflicts, they're enraged in against the Ottomans. And what? Multiple conflicts? What is this, dude? Who's fighting who? Okay, so the Ottomans declared on Austria. Right. Uh, this is not gonna go well for me. <laughs> If I accept. I'm right here, dude. Ah, uh, time to lose some Diplo rep, I guess. Sorry, Austria, but yeah, man, you're on your own with this one. And they're also defending from Bohemia in this separate war. Ah, uh, poor Austria. I am gonna give them Malaxis, why not? Okay, the war with the Teutons is done. Will Poland still help me versus Bosnia? Now, other guys would help me too. I think uh, all of us here should have no problem fighting Venice. Is there an option for this? No, not really. Is there an option for that? Yeah, all right. So uh, let's try and acquire our our second gold mine here boys and now i can call in cone 2 apparently i've seen this many times man initially they won't join but as soon as you declare they'll join maybe it's some mill access stuff i have no idea just got admin tech 5 and it is time for our first idea group now remember last time as bologna we got like exploration expansion super early and i didn't think we could uh actually explore and expand for a while but then we found out that these islands here were still uncolonized so i'm gonna try and do the same thing here as silly, even though we're super far away, I am going to open up with exploration. Oh, nice. We can actually already take quest for a new world. Um, I am going to do that. We need to get some ships going as soon as we're done with this war. I'm going to send Venice along the way here. I don't want to take provinces from them. A is going to be pretty high with Catholic nations. So I'm just going to get war reps here and some ducats. And we've beaten up Bosnia and Serbia as well. Awesome. Now, if I take the gold mine here, I will get a border with the Ottomans. But, oh, that... That's a big Ramazan right there. And uh, listen, we are I think we're going to get a border with them either way. I do have a bunch of allies. I'll try and find some more strong allies later on. I don't think we should concern ourselves with the Ottomans. So let's do something like this. And that's only 28 AE, actually. What happens if I full annex Bosnia? <laughs> that's only 36. Alrighty then. And uh, what if we do something like this, maybe? And like this, and we'll encircle Serbia here. So why not? Nice, man. Growing fast, dude. I told you guys, man. Silly. It isn't that difficult. All you gotta do is ally Poland. But yeah, man. Now it's time to chill for quite a while. I have gotten the second idea here. We're gonna build some boats and improve these two gold mines. You have no power here. All right, man. Things are going well. I dev haunt up to 10. I'm diving this one up to 10 right now as well. I did get three light ships, so let's get an explorer right here. <laughs> this is a joke, dude. Anyway, let's tell him to explore a bit. Right, uh, I guess we have uh, nowhere to explore, so we gotta get to Diplotech 7. Either way, things are going well. I full stated everything. I still got a couple of provinces left to full state, and uh, things are looking good, man. We're gonna chill for a bit. We don't really have anyone to expand into here, just Serbia and Venice for now. So yeah, those are our main targets. Well, my three-star general just died, which is sad, and what's even more sadder is now the Ottomans warned me too. <laughs> so uh, I guess we won't be fighting anyone anytime soon. Realistically, yeah, I can't declare on anyone without either Either Venice or the Ottomans getting involved. And uh, maybe Ferrara right here could be our only expansion opportunity. Let's see. Oh, wait. The Ottomans wouldn't defend Venice? Right, they don't border each other. I thought Venice still had provinces down here. So yeah, realistically, we could fight Venice. All right, I got the third idea from exploration here. Let's see if we can actually explore something now. Still no. Maybe we need to wait for the month to refresh? Still no. You know, people are voting for me in the HRE, so that's awesome. I think as soon as Frederick here dies, and he is pretty old, I will become emperor. But then again, I do have a female heiress, which means 
I'll lose it when she gets in power. And my guy is actually really old too. And there we go. I am the Holy Roman Emperor. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I'll lose it really soon. <laughs> but hey, why not? Why not? Uh, we can at least take this mission, right? Plus three Dipple Warp. I like that. Maybe we can fight some new strong allies now to prevent us from getting declared on by the Ottomans. And actually, I think I will link up with Lithuania here and with the Pope as well. Thank you, Croatian Separatists. I rivaled the Ottomans. That's pretty funny. And just like that, my guy died and we lost the Emperorship to Austria once again. Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. At least it allowed me to ally the Pope and uh, Lithuania. Well, enough time has past, let's not just wait around to colonize. Ah, uh, Portugal have gotten these provinces. Oh well, at least now we know we have nothing to hope for. But it is time to declare on Venice. Let's not hang around too much for Istria right here. And uh, I know this is overkill, but listen, it's funny. That's a nice area right there. And while my allies are taking care of Venice here, I'm also going to declare on Serbia because my truce with them is up. Boom. And Serbia is done. And let's be real here, no one's gonna siege the Knights or Venice proper, so the Venice War is done as well. I think I only want this, and uh, I'll get some more reps, and I'll humiliate them, and some, uh, and no money apparently. Nice, nice expansion. I recruited an Admiral instead of an Explorer, and there go 50 Diplo points. <laughs> Sad. Wait, give Consort Mill Command? Not bad. Hey, I can actually explore. I guess these two provinces extended my range a bit. And we just got dipped Act 7, which means we can explore even more. Ah, Castile and Portugal have even taken these over here. It's gonna be a while before we're gonna get the colonizing, boys. We can get our second idea group here, too. Now, do we really need to go with expansion here? Because we'll need a couple of pro... Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. When we did the thing as Bologna, I had to give away all my provinces so I could actually move my capital to the New World. And that's the same thing that we're going to have to do now. Because we're not going to release and play as a colonial nation. We are actually going to become the colonial nation ourselves. Uh, hold up. Yeah, I am going to go with expansion. Yeah, looking at the colonial range map mode, we still can't reach anything. It's still a bit too far away. Yeah, this province right here is the closest. I'm suffering on manpower here, sort of, kind of, because I've been fighting so many rebels. Now, luckily, we didn't recruit any merc companies this campaign. Strange, I know. Which means we can slack in at least once, which I will do. Now, listen, there's no realistic way that we're going to fight the Ottomans or Austria-Hungary because look at Austria's alliances. So I'm thinking, why not get a little involved in Italy? You know, Naples, they're back being a junior partner of Aragon, and Ferrara seems to be an easy entry point. So I am going to make the Pope here break his alliance with Ferrara. Boom, there we go. And now Ferrara is only allied to Genoa. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. I do have mill access with the Pope so we can land there and then invade by land. So let's declare. And it looks like Milan had the same idea, which is whatever. We can only take one province, so let's just take that one province. No, wait a minute. Wait, they own Venice too. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'll be taking that. Nice. Nice expansion here, man. Too bad we're going to lose it all later when we're going to form the US. <laughs> I can ally France, apparently, so why not do that? <laughs> Alright, Diptech 9. Please tell me I can colonize something now. Where's the colonial map mode? There it is. You gotta be kidding me, man. Still can't reach anything. Great. 545 hunting accident. Alright, I think to solve our colonial range issue, we need to get some provinces here. And I'm gonna try and do that by fighting Milan here and uh, getting Luca. So let's declare for that. Let's call in some boys. Is this enough? Eh, I guess it should be. There we go. Well, Austria just got a lot bigger. <laughs> they got the Burgundian inheritance and immediately inherited Burgundy, dude. And it's all of the low countries, too. Ooh, this is a strong Austria here, boys. This is a strong Austria. Wait, isn't there a colonial range advisor? Oh, uh, I think we should try and get that guy. Hmm. And there he is. <laughs> Boom. I think now we can actually reach stuff. Too bad I thought of this a bit too late, but let's see. And we still can't reach stuff. Nice. All right, we're pretty much done with Milan here. I can take this. Let's see if we can also take Genoa. I'm not gonna risk angering Austria. Or actually, wait. Let's wait for January. And now it's better. Now Austria won't join. So I'm gonna take Genoa as well. Why not? Let's get some money too. All right. Once we core this up, we should have sufficient colonial range, I think. And we'll see. All right, I just cored up Genoa and Luca. Please let me have col- Yes, yes, we have colonial range. Now, this is exactly the province I want to go to, actually, Bermuda. I'm super happy that we can actually colonize it right off the bat, and we won't have to hop to Brazil first, because we will be able to move our capital to Bermuda. So, 
Let's do it. Well, that's nice of France. Thank you very much, France. Oh, and they want to share knowledge. Thank you, Mainz. But with France paying off our loan, I actually did accomplish something I want to accomplish. Or, well, they did it for me. I can get uh, new world charters from the burgers. All right, increasing at 85 per year. Not bad for a non-colonial focused nation such as silly. Well, thank you once again, France. Why is Venice called Benetki? <laughs> hey, Bermuda's done. All right, let's see if we can state it. Uh, Greater Antilles, sure, I'll state it. Can we move our capital here? We cannot move our capital into or out of the Holy Roman Empire base. Uh, Alrighty then, I'm not gonna try and read that. But I guess we need to leave the HRE before we move our capital to Bermuda. And the thing about moving our capital to Bermuda is, and this is a strategy in, uh, in a lot of true one-tag world conquests, you basically move your capital to the new world. So Bermuda is in the new world obviously it's in the caribbean central america north america you guys can see that but no colonial nation actually moves bermuda all right so let's go to the hre interface i guess i'm not going to become emperor ever and there we go let's leave the hre now can we actually move our capital here and we actually can we just need about 19 more admin points and there we go we should have enough now so let's move our capital to bermuda perfect okay now when i colonize provinces here i should be able to form the us even without giving up all my land over here and there we go we got three colonists ready to go and i'll just send them right here in Powhatan, boom, there we go, in this long name province and in this province as well. Well, the Pope doesn't like me anymore. Since none of these guys should be able to see my capital, right, the non-colonizers, I can basically just expand in all of Europe and they can't join a coalition because they can't see my capital. <laughs> just like the strategy where you move your capital to Shat. Lots of things going on, man. Austria, Annex Hungary, we got the Protestant Reformation in full swing. We even got reformed spawning over here in Switzerland. How fitting. Yeah, nice game, baby. I'm actually gonna put my main a trade note back in venice and there we go our first colony is done it's piss cat away seriously piss cat away whatever let's wait for the two other ones all right so now that these three are done i think we actually need to move our capital over here and then we should be able to form the united states so let's see i need to gather up some admin points here uh but first of course we do need to state this right here as well and this right here too why not i do have three available colonists once again so uh let's send those boys along their way in some other coastal provinces over here oh manhattan uh so i'm seeing a little issue here we apparently can't move our capital to piss cat away <laughs> that's actually washington there's the white house um there's a million cores on here but we can't move our capital to a colonial region well bermuda is sort of kind of already in a colonial region so i guess we really do have to get rid of everything we own in europe uh all right i think i messed up here by moving my capital to bermuda which means that even if i get rid of everything over in europe i still won't be able to move my capital to uh washington so realistically it just cost us time and a little bit of admin points now all i need to do is uh, move my capital back to silly and then give everything to vassals and then we'll be able to move our capital all right let's move our capital back to silly and wait for about 200 more admin points all right there we go we should have more than enough admin points now to move our capital to the new world so let's uh get rid of everything in the old world ah uh, this pains me as much as it did in the bologna episode but there we go hungary is out croatia is out montenegro is out Serbia is out, Bosnia is out, Venice is out, Ferrara is out, Genoa is out, and Luca is out too. Boom, we only have silly in the old world. Ah, uh, like nothing ever happened. Brings me back to the past. And now we can move our capital. Right, right. Uh, a few more admin points. And we can actually move our capital to piss cat away. Boom, there we go. Our capital is in the new world proper right now. And we are able to form the American nation. Wait, no, we still can't. <laughs> 10 provinces and admin tech 10. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Let's swap to this right here so we can uh, do it a little faster. Let's flip Protestant too, because why not? And there we go. We just colonized our final province, Roanoke, right here. And I also got Admin Tech 10 a while ago. And we can finally take the decision to form the American nation. Boom. Yes, please. Ah, very nice. And there we go. From one nation with stars and stripes in its flag, the nation of Silly, which still exists somehow. How did that happen? Either way, we formed another nation with stars and stripes on its flag, the nation of the United. 
United States, and we finally stop being silly. But yeah, there you go, man. We start off as the nation of silly right here, and everything pretty much looked like it's looking like right now, except Hungary was here, and a little tough expansion, some bad events, some good events, but luckily with the help of Poland, we could push through to Hungary, get coastal provinces, conquer all of this, conquer two gold mines, and honestly, you guys know, man, we were pretty huge. You guys know what we looked like. We even expanded over in Italy to get more colonial range. We own these provinces over here. Overall, a super nice, super fun campaign. I was making a ton of money at the start, two gold mines. I was building a bunch of buildings in every province, and with Silly's insane diplomatically focused national ideas, we were able to ally, well, a bunch of these guys, which I'm still allied to, apparently, along with the Pope, I was allied with them and Austria at one point, and we finally started colonizing after getting the Italian provinces, moved our capital to Bermuda, which was actually a mistake. Well, not really a mistake, it just cost me more time and admin points, but then we moved our capital back to Silly before we got rid of everything and gave everything to vassals over here, which are not my vassals anymore, by the way, I guess we lose them when we form the US, just like we did in the Bologna episode where we formed Texas, and after colonizing 10 provinces and getting admin tech 10, we were finally able to form the nation of the United States. And that's just one way to do the don't be silly achievement. Like I said earlier, I already have that achievement. It's super easy to do right at the start. Like I explained, just annex Croatia, flip to Croatian culture, or annex these provinces, flip to Dalmatian culture, and you can form the nation of Dalmatia or Croatia because they are reformable nations, and you can get that achievement just like that super, super easily. But this is a little more cursed way to do that same thing. So, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as silly in A to Z has been a success. And that has been silly in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.